A normal Pythagoras cup has a center tube that drains your entire cup if you fill it too full. Nice, a passive safety system. This cup works by using the siphon effect. Mm -hmm. There's a tube up in the center portion here, and when you don't fill it too high, it doesn't reach the top of the tube. And you can use the cup normally. But when you fill it too much, then it reaches the top of this U-shaped tube and creates a siphon that empties the entire cup. This is just like emergency cooling systems in a nuclear power plant. When you reach a certain threshold, the safety systems activate, keeping everything safe without additional human intervention. But the devious Pythagoras cup is different. There's no center tube. But still, if you fill it too full, then it drains your whole cup. So how does it work if there's no center siphon? Well, the siphon is hidden, hidden in the yeah. walls of the cup. This is a much better version of the cup that Pythagoras originally designed to punish his greedy students. Spent fuel pools also have a siphon so you don't overfill it by mistake, but it doesn't drain the entire thing. It actually has an anti-siphon device as well, so you can maintain a precise level.